Hello everyone, this is Jokul10. Welcome back to Let's Play LEGO Star Wars 2. We're ready to continue free play with Episode 5, Chapter 1. I'm gonna pick the snow speeder here. Okay, you don't need uh, infinite torpedoes for this one. Um, Tractor beam is kind of nice. I'm mostly going to need to play as a as the snow spear here. Um, oh come on, that's fine. I I'm not going to do toe death star. Just pr I got to prefer the uh, the traditional uh, bomb uh, getting it getting it over these uh, over these gaps here is kind of tough yeah having having uh, having tracker beam does help with these uh, probe droids oh uh, I wish, there, I wish there was a better way to tow this stuff, but there really isn't. Okay, I got lucky with that. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. Few double score zones in the in the ship levels. I think it's the only one actually. Oh no, the, that's not entirely true because there's the double score zone in the Falcon Flight level. Stuff does respawn, but you don't get any studs for it, so you only have to come in here the one time. Okay. <laughs> uh, why did you have to place me there? Makes no sense. <laughs> okay, that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, trying to. This is like the only part of the level that has these, that has these gaps. That's annoying. I'm trying to get around them. This level is a lot easier too with score times two. Just in terms of stud collecting. Okay, we might have to come back here later, but we'll see how it goes. Make sure you actually fly through that with the TIE Fighter, because that door can close. Um, I think it actually does that in the complete saga. I don't know if it does in this game. 
Okay, don't worry about towing the bomb just yet. We will have to we'll have to come back for it here. But uh we're gonna go on ahead here. Grab the main kit. Okay, that's all the main kits, but we still have the red brick to get, and it's in this area. Uh, so the red brick is over here. Um, so as you can see, you do need to tow the bomb to get it. Um, so there's a couple different options you have to to do this here. Um, well, I'm gonna see how this goes here. Normally, I take out the AT AT. But then you have to do two trips because you have to do one trip to get to take out the ATAT, -AT, and then you have to do another trip to get the red brick. So I might see if I can try to skip the AT. AT. take it out. You don't gain anything for taking it out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It just, it does make getting the red brick maybe a tad bit easier, but I don't think it's really all that worth it. So I'm not going to worry about it. True Jedi, so we can just go ahead and advance to the to the end of level here. Let's smash all these all these guys here. I almost went into that trench there, but I saved it. That was cool. I will take that. Okay, so we got all the main kits and true guys, so we're good to go. Let's just head for the end of the level here. Guys, yep, there we go. Okay. You 
these guys always spawn in different spots too. Well, the first one always spawns in the same spot, but the second one always spawns in a different spot. It's weird. Okay, got the one. Got the one. Yeah, this one always spawns in the same spot. Yeah, the other one is, is random where it spawns. I think the third one that you have to take out is random too, if I remember right. Oh, come on! I only have so much time here. There we go. Alright, last wave. guys to take out and then we're done. One more. There we go. Not too bad. Alright guys, self-destruct. True Jedi, some more studs. Alright, we get our bonus studs for the main kits. And we also get our bonus studs for the gold bricks now, which is cool. So there's an extra 200,000 studs for that, so that's really good to have. All right, before I end up the video here, we'll go ahead and and uh, buy some more stuff here since we got some more studs. We'll buy our two ships that I didn't get. So now we have all the characters and, and ships besides the uh, the forced ghosts here, which we're going to wait with those until later. There's one ship that we're missing uh, that we're going to have to wait till later to get. We'll also, quick grab a self-destruct here. Um, oh, it's right here. Self-destruct, what that does is, um, if you turn it on, uh, you can, uh, use that with, uh, droids, and uh, if you push the B button, or the button to, uh, activate terminals with, when you're not by a terminal, uh, they'll self-destruct, they'll kill, basically kill themselves, but then they'll also kill enemies sur ar surrounding them. So it's kind of a it's kind of a gimmicky thing, but it might be useful. But anyway, um, yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, we'll just we're just gonna basically be continuing with free play here. So until next time, this is Joe Cool Ten signing out. <laughs>